Hey everyone, it's Hayes and it's Miraculous Monday so it's time for another screaming session. Good evening. And in today's video we will be finally doing episode 3, Destruction. And yes, those of you with a good memory or have been here a long time will know this actually won before. But then we had like the hell week where five episodes all aired at once and so did the video game and so did my nervous breakdown. So I was like, you know, let's just stick it back on the pole and try again. And here we are. I think we're good to go. Good to go. So let's start. And Marinette is on her own watching a video of Alia talking about Monarch Daddy. Like, when did she have time to film this? Strike Back was literally like 20 minutes ago in their timeline. But oh my god, she says this. Now that Shadow Moth is- It's Shadow Daddy, Alia. Have you learnt nothing? Years of academy training wasted. Meanwhile, Gaby Baby is in the murder basement rocking his cute little anklet and he starts shouting at the Kwamis and I'm just like, mate, why don't you just akumatize yourself with the power of time travel since Time Tagger shows that's not really an issue? Or, you know, akumatize yourself into a doctor who can heal anything. I don't know. Seems like an easy enough solution to me. So Gabriel Babes isn't very nice to the Kwamis and they're all like... <laughs> Like, guys, I love you all, but do you think he really cares if he's mean to you? No. But oh my god, poor Ziggy. Just follow the smell of croissants. Let me give you a hug, you poor thing. So Gabriel is like, alright, time to go to the Dupen Cheng Bakery. AKA, apparently, the only bakery in the city. This city and this country that is well-renowned for their baked goods. Like, it could be any bakery in the city, the Kwamis have said that smells like croissants any bakery and he's like yep this is the one i know it's a dupen chang's sure yeah that makes sense and you know what also makes sense tom's logic about his croissant stopping people from getting akumatized you're doing a great job you weirdo <laughs> so upstairs monarch daddy gets into marinette's room and he says you have a, a gift for me oh my god monarch i didn't know it was your birthday they have a bit of a weird exchange to say the least and then alia finally comes back upstairs i don't know why she was taking so long and she gets her phone destroyed how many phones has she gone through in the show and how does she explain all of these repairs to her parents either way monarch daddy takes the key and goes to the ice rink but he goes via horse portal and he's so lazy you know it's not that far i really wanted him to parkour it there and even though he used a portal he made the executive decision to land in the middle of the ice which is weird but oh my god we were so robbed in season five that we never got to see any of the power-ups like i need to see this man with ice skates with fins with wings thomas astruck i want my refund you're gonna give me my money Gabriel Babes finally gets to the Griffin Museum and Veronique is so unnecessarily nice to this man. Will you need anything else? There is absolutely no need for you to be nice to a domestic terrorist, okay? So Ladybug ties him up, Cat Noir has his cataclysm ready, and at this point we all collectively screamed at her for not taking some miraculous, I swear to god, why didn't you do it? You could have got at least two. So they all just kind of stay in the same position and Cat Noir says, Don't do it! Don't make me! I don't know what this would do to you and none of us want to find out! I'll tell you what happens, mate. He dies after slowly crumbling all season. It was really great to watch. But then Monarch Daddy is like, Checkmate, Ladybug! Checkmate? This isn't checkmate. You're gonna die. He's crazy! But then, oh my god, all the Kwame zoom off with Monarch Daddy and Bark says, I'm not crying, you're crying. So after Ladybug and Cat Noir have a breakdown at the Wax Museum, which is just my constant state in a wax museum because they scare me to death, we get the return of Crazy Marinettes. Although there was absolutely no guarantee in this episode that Ali wouldn't have come back into Marinette's room and start screwing up Marinette for her to run because she's Ladybug. Like if I was Alia, that's what I would have done. But this is why Alia will always be a better person than I am. <laughs> Although, how long did Cat Noir have this piece of paper in his bell for? Did it not fall out? This boy gets thrown across Paris all the time. And another question. How did Ladybug and Cat Noir get to the Grevin Museum and set all this up before Monarch Daddy did? He goes there by voyage, which is a lot quicker than running across the rooftops, and they had to set all this up. And yeah, I know he went to the ice rink first, but I don't believe they could have done all of this before he got there. He wasn't at the ice rink for that long. Like, no, I'm sorry. I don't believe it. What? 
it. And then Alia casually congratulates her best friend on cataclysming and eventually murdering someone. What a time to be alive. Meanwhile, over at the mansion, Gaby Baby is designing his all-white outfits, like how many of these did he order? He wears it for the rest of the season. And now time for this thing. I still don't know what it is. It's a real shame he didn't like wearing the hair clips and anklets more. I think he looked great with them. <laughs> Although he does have a huge disregard for health and safety. Gaby baby mate, you need to go back to the first science class in year seven. And so do I apparently because I once got banned from science. But that's a story for another time. Not today. And then the episode ends with showing us the carousel of pain. I love it, Gabriel Babes. You really should have gone into interior design. So let's take a look at the fan art for this week. So the first piece we have is from Null with their black cat own characters and their own character using the black cat miraculous. And oh my gosh, I love it. Like often in Adrian's design, not that I don't love cat noir, but I'm like, there's a lack of green in that, apart from his eyes. There is none. I kind of do sometimes wish there was a bit more. So I love how bright the green is on this. It's so good. I love it so much. And then from Scenty Lights, we also have a load of chivies. We have Adrian and Marinette, the Ladybug and Cat Noir, the Plague and Tiki. Oh, it's so cute. Thank you so much. And then we have two pieces from Nathart's. One of them is of Marinette using the Peacock Miraculous and Oh my gosh oh my gosh i need to see her in something blue now she's absolutely stunning in like the deep peacock kind of blue color like the midnight blue amazing and also adrian using the peacock i don't think blue is as much of his color as it is marinette he's definitely like a green and yellow sort of person but he still looks amazing so thank you so much for sending me your fan arts the There'll be a poll up tomorrow so you can vote for the next screaming session. What was your favourite moment from this episode, besties? I'll see you in the next one.